Hello and welcome back. Today we're doing a haul and it is a Cape Town haul. I have been to Cape Town, South Africa now about four times for work. Not quite yet for vacation, but it is still one of my very favorite places to go. I have another Cape Town haul on this channel from years ago. If you're interested, I will have it linked and you can check it out. But this is a 2020, it's a fresh haul for you. So I'm gonna try and separate things in the categories and I will try and link any places that I can below in case you yourself are headed to Cape Town and you wanted to check out any of these shopping locations. So let's jump right in. So first up, we're gonna do some clothing. I didn't really get much this time around, but I did get this super cute t-shirt for Sean. It's from a company called Lucky Fish, and on the front of it is a prime minister, prime minister from, I think it was the Republic of Congo. If I'm wrong, we'll fix it on the screen. But his name is Patrice Lubamba. In addition to being a politician, he was a poet. And the front of the shirt reads, the day will come when history will speak. Africa will write its own history. It will be history of glory and dignity. And I just thought it was super cute. Also, the girl in this store was super nice. Next up, I got this super cute little top for myself. It's like, it looks like it would be cropped, but it's like not. This store um, was in the old biscuit mill, which if you've been to Cape Town or if you live in Cape Town, you know, it's full of the cutest little shops. Um, they actually had these in matching sets, but they didn't have pants that match this little top. So I just got the top. Um, and again, I'll try to link everything I can below, but got this cute little top. Along with the clothing, I picked up a few pieces of jewelry. These little bracelets all have cowl shells on them. One in gold, two with the cowl shell just as they are. And I just thought they were super cute. Haven't decided if I'm going to keep them for myself or give them as gifts, but they were inexpensive and cute. We should say the exchange rate in Cape Town is very much in the favor of the dollar. It fluctuates, um, but while I was there, it kind of hovered around 15 to one. So $1 got you 15 Rand, which is pretty good. And these were 60 Rand. So they were like $2. No, that's very wrong. $4, $5. These were also from a shop in the old biscuit mill. From another shop in the old biscuit mill called Abode. I actually remember the name of that one. I got this super cute necklace. Now, it is not real gold, it's not real silver. It's like definitely just um, decorative. I mean, just costume jewelry. So I will probably wear it sparingly, but I thought that the combination of gold and silver together was really cute. Also, I was heavily inspired by uh, Raya, who was our assistant. If you caught the Cape Town vlog, I um, mentioned Raya in that vlog. This is the second time that I've gone to Cape Town and worked with her and she is honestly just so lovely and she is a master at stacking and layering her jewelry. And she always wore pieces that were mixed gold and silver and I was heavily inspired by that. So that's what kind of made me want to pick up this piece because it's kind of a mix. If you watched our What We Eat in a Weekend video, then you also saw me talk about this ribose tea. I mentioned in that video that I've been to Cape Town plenty of times, not plenty, a handful of times. Somehow I had never had the ribose tea, but we went to um, a cafe to have breakfast and I actually had some of the tea because it is what, it's like a Cape Town tea and it is delicious. Um, I know that our friends here in New York at Brooklyn Tea sell several versions of this, but I decided to go ahead and pick up some while I was still in Cape Town and we've had several cups already. This is a very, very, very delicious tea. Next up, let's do some wine because, <laughs> nobody was talking to her. Let's do some wine because Cape Town, South Africa is definitely wine country. This first one, Cap slitched. Mm. P. 
Pinotage is the wine that is only made in Cape Town. It's a red, and I think it's supposed to be a blend between a Cabernet and something else. Don't quote me, we'll put some information on the screen. But this wine I have tried and I really liked. It's a Pinotage by Cap Slipped. Sure. If you are ever in Cape Town and have an opportunity to go to a vineyard or a wine farm, you like absolutely should because it is amazing. The places that make good wine, I mean, everything there is organic without having to say organic. There's lots of wine. The food is delicious. Like go to a wine farm. I went this time uh, and it was an amazing experience. And so I definitely would like to go back and spend a bit more time. So this is the first bottle of wine I got. And then the very first time I went to Cape Town, my friend Evelyn um, came along with me. It was a work trip, but you know, when you're already in a hotel, just bring a friend. She came and someone she knew recommended a restaurant. And in that restaurant, they recommended this wine to us. It's called Southern Right. It is again a Pinotage. And we absolutely fell in love with this wine. So now each time that I go back, I have to get at least one bottle of Southern Right. So this is this trip's bottle. I actually still have one left over from last year's trip. So love Southern Right. And the place where I go and get these wines, uh, Caroline's Wine Cellar does ship to the US. So I will for sure link that place down below. So if you're really interested in getting some Pinotage, um, you can absolutely use their website to do that. So of course I picked up a couple of homeware or housewares and let's do that section next. So I just mentioned that we went to a wine farm and it was an amazing experience. Um, they have the cutest shops full of amazing linens and glassware, tableware, um, coffee table books. Like it was a real struggle to not buy a large amount of things but as i have mentioned in several videos we're on a shopping ban so really i shouldn't have bought any of this stuff but i had to get a little something i mean i'm in africa uh, so one of the things that i got at the wine farm was this little tote is it linen or is it cotton it's linen this little linen tote which was right on time because if you didn't know new york city has gotten rid of single-use plastics and this is a great little tote to carry around, but it's just a little reusable tote, cute. Also at the wine farm, I picked up these small little jars. Now, what am I gonna use these for? I don't know, <laughs> but I thought they were cute. I said to Sean, you know, if we have guests over and we made them breakfast, it would be the perfect little jar to give them some butter and jams or you know if one of us wanted to be extra romantic and make the other one breakfast in bed or something it's the perfect little <laughs> he made a face at me from behind the camera <laughs> but the perfect little jars for butters and jams just like i don't know cute little things so i also got these at the wine farm um because i couldn't i couldn't resist i couldn't resist everything and they were 45 rand a piece which i just said a dollar is 15 Rand. So they're like $2, $3 a piece. So it's like, come on. Also at the farm, if you watched that vlog, you saw Crystal and I mix up some face masks. I still haven't used the face mask yet, but I'm very excited to do so. It's very organic. Ooh, smells weird. <laughs> um, but the ladies did tell us to keep it refrigerated and that it was only good for maybe six months. So I am excited to get into this face mask. We're actually probably going to do these when we're done filming this video. But look at all the cute stuff that you can get at the wine farm. Girl. In the same room where we mixed up our face masks, they also, it was called the scent room. So in addition to face masks, you could get um, foot scrubs, body scrubs, um, washes. There were organic um, bug repellents or like mosquito repellents, like all types of things happening in there. They also had candles, essential oils, room sprays. So I got a cute little candle. And the flavor that I got is called VOC. And it comes in this cute little box, but it is just your standard 
candle. It comes with the lid, smells amazing. And in the end, you have this cute little jar that has the name of the wine farm that we went to, Babel Mornstern. It's a Dutch country, y'all. Lots of things are um, based on the Dutch language and that's a hard language. Back over at the biscuit mill, I also picked up this tiny little giraffe made out of some type of grass but I just thought he was adorable. I don't know where he's going to go. I might make Sean take him to work and let him live on Sean's desk, but I just thought he was, he was cute. And then Raya again is so, so, so lovely. And as I mentioned in the vlog, she makes linen homeware products and she gifted me the beautiful set of linen napkins. Cape Town loves its linen. And on previous trips, I've gotten other linen items. That shirt that I showed you, the little crop top earlier, also made out of linen. Linen, The little tote bag that I just showed you, made out of linen. Cape Town loves its linen. Um, so she gifted me these beautiful napkins that I honestly can't wait to have a table to use. Get some cute little napkin holders. But yeah, thank you again, Raya. This is a lovely gift. Um, and in addition to the napkins, she also gave me this set of salad servers. So they are ma made from olive wood with just a little bit of bone inlay. Uh, and it, it was just such a beautiful, thoughtful uh, gift and she really is lovely. I will be sure to link her um, website where you can purchase some of her linen goods um, down in the description. And now last but not least, my favorite category, art. So the art scene in Cape Town is, I mean, the makers vibe in Cape Town is so deep and rich. There are so many people making everything like any and everything can be purchased by someone who actually used their hands to make it and that is why it is one of my favorite places to visit um i got this piece uh, this print from abode which is also in the old biscuit meal the same place i got the necklace and it's by an artist ooh, named simone vanderspoy Sorry, Simone, if I butchered your name, but I just loved, it's called The Season, and I just loved like the oversized head, the brightness, the whiteness, the green, like, I don't know, it just spoke to me. So I got this print, lovely. Uh, if you watch the vlog, you should really watch the vlog. Crystal, there's a little section where there is an artist that we stumbled upon um, and I am sad to say that the entire interaction where he was giving us so much personality, telling us about uh, his hometown and how they named the children in that hometown and what his name means and like talking about his work. We like def no, I mean, both Chris and I were like just listening and not at all thinking about pulling out a camera. And then once we did remember to pull out a camera, he was too shy to actually say hello to the camera. So there is clip, there is footage of his other works. He was a really talented guy and very nice and very charming. Uh, so I bought a piece from him as well. Uh, he's a painter, should have said that. And I got this, I guess it's kind of a self portrait because it is supposed to be him. Uh, and the guy is playing a flute yeah, I just thought it was beautiful. His work was beautiful and he actually signed the back um, to Celia with love. So yeah, it's a cool piece. Excited to own it. He was a cool guy. I wish so mad at ourselves um, after we had let him do all of this talking that we didn't film at all. <laughs> And then last but not least, if you follow me on Instagram and you saw my last year's Cape Town haul that is still a highlight on my Instagram, if 
might be on Sticky Icky's Instagram, but um, there is a store that I love in Cape Town that Raya also told me about last year and it's called Out of This World and they sell African curios and it is just full. I just want everything. They have these beautiful chairs, like large pieces that you would have to spend large sums of money to get from Africa to America. And one day I will because I just, they have the most beautiful pieces. Last year I got this beautiful um, Nigerian, I think it's Nigerian, Nupi stool that I love. It's hand carved from one solid block of wood and then used in homes, not for anything special as far as I understand. If you know anything more about Nupi stools, please let me know in the comments below. But I was deciding between a Nupi stool and a mask. And last year I went with the Nupi stool and this year I went back and the mask that I wanted was still in the store. And here she is. He, she, full of cowl shells that were used. Um, when the shells came to Africa, they were used as a form of currency. So that's why they are, they have such a prominent um, place in African history. But I love this mask. The um, shop said that it came from the Ivory Coast and I love it. I just love that this crown of shells is just like, Amazing, it's just amazing to me. And I'm so happy that it was still there and that I was able to get it. All right, if you have any comments or questions about Cape Town, please do leave them in the comments, in the comment section below. Um, if you haven't watched the vlog, please check out the vlog. And thank you as always for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.